Hi guys, welcome to our Daily Encounter. Our reading today affords us a chance to be able to consider what we are really doing here in this group. And some might say, well, it's very simple what we're doing in this group. We're going through the Bible and we're going to try to read through the whole Bible in a year. We have our daily portion that we read uh, with a devotion tied to the reading. But it ought to be that what we're doing here it involves a lot more than just that. Because it's very easy for us to, as we con as we uh, continue on through the year, to get so caught up in just trying to get our reading done each day that we don't really allow God's Word to really sink in, but then also to bear fruit out in our lives. Uh, it's very easy to just say, well, you know, I checked off my reading today and now I'm going to go on about my business and completely forget about what we read. And I, I believe this can be addressed in Mark chapter 4, where we read about the parable of the sower. Because the parable, parable of the sower, as Jesus explains, is really about a person who goes out and teaches the word. Uh, the seed is the word of God. And as this word is being preached, it falls on different soils or different hearts, uh, if you will. Uh, some seed or the word might fall on some who have a hard heart, that is like the soil that is by the road that's hard, the seed does, can't even penetrate the soil, and then the birds can just come and snatch that seed away, which represents those who have a hard heart, who read God's word perhaps, but they are not really open to truly receive what it has to say. Uh, maybe they just read it in a very superficial way, and what happens is, is that basically the word just gets lost to them. Uh, maybe they do their reading in the morning and uh, they don't really let it sink in. They don't really let it marinate, if you will. And by the end of the day, it's lost and, and everything that they've read is completely gone. Or you could think about those who have the seed sown on the rocky soil. And Jesus says that these are the ones where the word, uh, they receive the word gladly, but they really don't have any deep root in themselves and Whenever the scorching sun, or as he describes it, you know, difficulty and, and trials come, they wither away and they don't bear any fruit because they didn't have any root. They didn't really get deep into the soil. The, the seed didn't get deep into the soil. And the same could be true for those who even maybe get into God's word on a daily, um, who are on a daily schedule, get into God's word, but, you know, they... Maybe they have the wrong idea of what God's Word is supposed to do in their lives. Maybe they think that uh, God's Word is supposed to make their life easy. Um, they just accept it uh, in a very trite way, in a very superficial way again. But it doesn't really have the opportunity to really transform them to the extent that they would be able then to hold fast to the Word, even in the midst of, tri of tribulation and trials and difficulties. And so as the day continues on, as hardships come, as challenges come, whether it be with relationship problems, financial problems, whatever it might be, the Word of God kind of just fizzles out. And there's really no fruit being born because it really hadn't taken root in their hearts. Or we could think about the seed that is sown among the thorns. Here Jesus says this represents those who receive the Word, but the cares of the world choke it out, just like the seed that's choked out by the thorns that surround it. So the people who take in the word, but then the cares of the world, the anxiety of things, uh, and the cares of maybe trying to become rich or trying to get involved in the things of the world, popularity and all these other things, they just get distracted with uh, basically plugging into the world and the world, the way that wor the world functions and things along that line. And that can happen to us as well. Get into the Word, you know, do our daily reading. But then we put our Bible aside and then the rest of the day we just spend our mind or use our mind to focus on worldly things. Uh, having our minds focused on the things of the world, but not really focused on heavenly things and not really mulling over and really meditating on what we read. Uh, we just go back into a worldly mindset. And then the word really doesn't produce any fruit. What we want to do in this group is be the type of people that he describes 
And the last part of the parable, where the seed is sown in the good, good soil, it, bear, it has root in itself, it bears fruit, uh, and an abundance of fruit. And that's what we want to do in, in, in our daily encounter. Not just check off a box, not just get our reading done and then go about our business, but really take in God's word and then put it into action. And, and that's really what God's word should do. Uh, it, it's not just there for us to uh, take in intellectually. It's not just something for us to read uh, as a form of entertainment, although it, it might uh, serve in that way in some capacity. The ultimate goal of God's word is to bear fruit in our lives. And as we take in God's word each and every day, we got to ask ourselves, what can I do with this? How can I put this into practice? How can I apply that in my life? And that's part of what part of what these devotions are for is to uh, help us kind of think in those terms. You know, what I've done my reading now, how can I apply it? And um, and it's not just the things we cover in these videos. It's things that you yourself can take in personally and say, hey, I believe this is something that I need to focus on in my life. This is something that maybe I've been neglecting in my life that I need to uh, step into and begin to to uh, do these particular tasks or whatever it might be. So the ultimate goal really is so that God's word can produce fruit in our lives. That is that God's word is put into action. If not, again, it just becomes another reading, like reading a magazine or something else. And it won't really have the benefit that, that it really should have. Uh, Jesus here in the parable clearly wants God's word to produce fruit. And that's what we should want as well. So that guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.